resent the gotcha community. I feel like if anybody has an excuse to resent the gotcha community, I 1 million percent agree that Solo has every right to resent this community. Absolutely. Uh, I feel like he's had to deal with a lot of hardships. He's, he's definitely one of the people who has earned the right to be bitter. Uh, he's, he's a guy who's had to deal with a lot. Some deserved, some undeserved. But uh, yeah, let's see what he has to say. I'm, I'm actually curious. This video, it's worth mentioning. I like the gotcha Twitch community. Okay, let me rephrase that. I like my community. But then again, I'm pretty sure every community sucks. Let's just be real, guys. Every community of hardcore devout followers sucks for video games. They're so awful. And you want to know why it's okay if a content creator has a community and it's not okay if a game has a company? Because the game's not going to interact with their community. Right? A content creator will. So a content creator can get rid of the people who fucking suck. Whereas the games community, they're all just fucking there. Do you think My Hero Academia's uh, community loves being paraded by fucking pedophiles? They probably don't like that. Right? But, hey, it's money. It is what it is. Right? So uh, that's why I feel like content creator creating communities is fine. Whereas devout followings of games or companies are just fucking bad because they're going to let every fucking freak in there no matter what just to make a couple bucks. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of content creators who are like that too, but fucking not my ass, bro. If you suck, I'm just going to obliterate your ass. ...saying that I'm going to be using Honkai Star Rail as a basis, but as a creator who has dipped his toes into a multitude of different gacha communities, I can assure you that this is a problem that exists in all of them. Sure. It does not matter what game you play or how niche you think it is, sure. this will always be a fundamental part of the gacha community, and okay. you cannot escape it. So that being said, a few days ago now, I released a video talking about the Honkai Star Rail story and why I thought it was garbage, and in the creation of that video, towards the beginning, I alluded to the fact that I knew just by virtue of creating the video, people were not going to like it. Sure. The idea that- I think that everyone should understand that if your idea to make content is because people will like it, you need to understand that there are, in some countries, people go to fuck sheep and fuck goats, right? People are really going to like weird things, but people are also going to hate normal things and it's very important to understand that you can't please everybody because everybody likes or dislikes different things which country oh i'm not going to say it. it'll make me racist something negative could exist within the game was just cause enough to receive a vast amount of backlash from anybody who just so happened to stumble into it. And even if you want to say every point I levied against the story in that video is wrong, which, uh. by the way, we'll get to that in a second, it doesn't change the fact that there was one thing I was right about. People were not going to like that I challenged the popularity of something that they deemed to be good. Sure. So, just for reference, before uploading that video, I had 14,000 548 subscribers and if you are watching this video on release i currently have 14,490, i believe which means that since the publication of that video i've lost about 68 subscribers but i'm just going to round up to 70 for the sake of brevity i have made a few okay. community posts since then one was uh, i don't know why people sweat losing subscribers man you know what i mean like i remember there was a part where i lost 140,000 subscribers <laughs> I just don't care. Uh, subscribers recycle, and you should be happy if you have people who leave your channel who don't enjoy your content. Because what that does is it gives you more active subs to dead subs ratio, which will actually help your uh, your channel push the algorithm in you more. So it's actually not a big deal at all. There's a Star Rail Some character, people one was much. asking what video I should make next, and... That being said, make sure to subscribe to my channel. The other was just a picture of my VTuber, but all in all, I haven't really done anything to warrant losing subscribers in the last week since that video's publication. Now, you would think, by me saying that, that perhaps in that video I was just blatantly wrong or ill-informed about a specific subject, and people didn't like that, so they decided to question my credibility, unsubscribe, and challenge it in the comments like reasonable adults. But, um, that is not what happened at all. In fact, everything that I just said as a theoretical, um, was quite the opposite. Every point I levied in that video, while it could have been proposed in a more professional fashion, was by no means wrong. And the reason I know this is because of the 320 comments, no one was able to supply an argument that properly countered me. Isn't that fun? No, see, what they do is, is they scream as loud as possible, take their poopy diaper, and they throw it at the screen. Because they can't tell you why you're wrong. 
the only thing they can do is tell you how you've upset them. And that's why, who cares what they say? And I'm not saying this because, you know, there was dozens of comments and I just didn't pay attention or read any of them. No, I'm, I'm saying this because of the 320 comments, roughly 60% of them were agreeing with me. 39% of them were just people insulting me because they couldn't think of anything else. And less than 1% of them were actual discussions. And I would like to go ahead and give a round of applause to the people who didn't agree with me, but still were able to supply a coherent argument, even the ones that were multiple paragraphs long. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about all five of you. And at the time of recording this video, that's actually not an exaggeration. There was literally only five of them. You nice. guys are amazing. Now, as for the other 60% of you who just agreed with me or liked my post, I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate you telling me that I'm right, but unfortunately, I don't really value that beyond it. Well, yes, it's oh. cool to know people agree with me. Oh, I love it. I love knowing when people say that I'm right because then at least I know that they're right. You know, because I'm not going to give you a bad opinion. So whenever people are like, oh, Tectone's right, I'm like, oh, wow, this guy knows what he's saying. This guy gets it. Mm -hmm. Yep, he knows. I don't necessarily need validation from somebody to feel good about myself. You know, the narcissism does that one for me. And oh, I, I do. When people tell me I'm right, it's like I'm coming. It's like I have a whole boner. Everyone else who went down to those comments and just hit me with a bunch of different insults instead of offering anything of value to contribute to conversation and or society, I would like to tell you now that you are the problem and the reason why I am making this video. I have, on multiple occasions, knowing full well exactly what was going to happen made a controversial opinion specifically to bait out what people may say. And every single time that I've done this, I have been successful. Now, this is not to say I only did it to bait out those opinions, because what I ended up saying in those circumstances were reflective of my actual thoughts. But it's really funny to know that I already knew going into it what would happen. The gotcha community is uh. full of a bunch of close-minded and predictable goblins who hate the <laughs> idea that the product that they look too deeply into and have a bit too much personal investment in <laughs> as an attack on them and their self-esteem. The pro hey, you want to know why that is? How would you feel if you went to a restaurant and you ordered a $300 meal to impress a girl and then somebody said, that shit's overpriced garbage? Well, that's not good because you spent all your money on it and now this person you're trying to give a fuck isn't going to give a fuck. Okay, because here's what happens with gotcha players. The majority of them are not good at real games, so they have to spend money on gotcha games to feel good like everybody else who is good at games. And the other thing is, after they've spent $10,000, when you say that the game they spent money on is bad, they think that you're calling them stupid because they spent all this money on this game. This game can't be bad. It's the best game in the world. So if you're insulting the thing that I bought, you're insulting me. It's been this way as all this time, man. That they engage with cannot have any issues, nor is it allowed to have any subjective criticism tossed its way, because that is an affront on them personally. And when you do that, when you talk bad about their precious, you know, like Gollum, they're going to hiss at you, they're going to call your you names, and they're going to fling feces like rabid animals. While I would love to call them human beings, I am of the opinion they are of a different species, because I have never met a human in real life who's so quick to get offended at you saying a product might have an issue in it. This, at large, is not just an issue that I am having, and there are other content creators who have the same problem, but they- I, uh, I have a word for those people. Do you, you know what word I call those people? Guys, do you, any of you guys, any of you guys know the word that I call these people out of curiosity? You know what, I'm not gonna say it. Maybe the YouTube section can figure it out, but uh, there's a great word for those people. They don't talk about it because they want to be seen as professionals in their field. I, however, do not care if you think I'm a professional or not, because the professionalism ends the second I start recording these videos for the sake of myself and having fun. In reality, this YouTube channel doesn't exist for the sake of making as much money as possible or being as popular as possible, and I absolutely don't care what the public opinion has to say about a situation because that's not my opinion. If what I say about a specific subject matter makes people mad or hurts my overall impact, in the algorithm, that's a risk I'm willing to take for the sake of actually expressing the opinions everyone else is too scared to share. I'm actually of the opinion that even if I wanted to, I can't hide my contempt about things. I've tried before, but it always just ends up slipping out, hence why I do not try. And because of that, on multiple- What a great way to live your life. I wish there was more people like Solo. I wish there was more content creators willing to speak their mind, who were less afraid.
If only there would be someone to lead these people, but I just can't think of anyone. Asians, I've been the victim of the gotcha community wrath because I say things that people don't agree with. The first time this ever happened to me was when I said that Huahua was better than Luocha and people got on my ass about that. No, nah, I'm pretty sure the first time that uh, the community was on Solo's ass where they were calling him a yapper on the gotcha cast. Man, that was a rough one. That was a rough arc. That was rough. That, but lo and behold, that is now the popular opinion to have, with a vast majority of people not liking Luocha. Then, later on, I said that Jing Lu is not going to be worth pulling on her rerun because she's going to get power crept in a few months, and everybody took that as me saying Jing Lu was bad. Lo and behold, now she's basically useless. And I ended up being right about that one too. And now, the current battle, the one that is patent pending, I said that Ron May was never made to be a break support, or an all-purpose support. She was supposed to be a DOT support, and everybody's taking that argument and they're twisting it to make it sound like I said she couldn't be break or doesn't work as break when all- Isn't that fun? I said was, she's made to be dot. And I assure you, here in four months when she gets replaced on the break effect team as a support, everyone's going to realize that I was right about that, and then they're going to have to come crawling back to me to suck my penis. Now I could easily talk about- in this video this reminds me of prime m -tashed. you know this 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 is like golden era m -tashed, man i i miss bitter fucking videos like this why i think that but uh, that's a video for another day the uh. point i'm making is every single time without fail when i make a meta opinion somebody comes at my throat and they get mad at me because it's not the popular one to have that is the gotcha scene in general and when i say people True. come at my throat i'm Man, I remember this other guy called Gan Yu a support, and now she's one of the best supports in the game, and people still try shitting on him because they themselves didn't understand it the way that this guy understood it. It is what it is. I'm not talking about just, you know, a small, you know, little chunk of people. I am talking about roughly 30 to 50% of the engagement on any video level of at the throat. One of my most disliked videos to this day is about 30 seconds of constructive criticism in a 10 minute long video that and let me guess they called you overly negative right it's otherwise glowing praise and that video currently sits at about 35 percent dislike that right there is unironically the level of cult adjacent blind support that people have for these games and just how much they hate the idea of anybody criticizing it but it doesn't yep. just end there because it also turns out that the gotcha community is full of a bunch of petty children and i myself on multiple occasions even though i tried to stay in my own lane have been dragged into dramas i wanted no part in at one point because of my Jing Lu takes, a specific Honkai Star Rail leak creator with about 35,000 subscribers ended up raiding my Discord server. And what's really funny is that the people in that server refer to Jing Lu as their blue eyed queen. She has. You know what? I don't get. I've been on Twitch for like six, seven years. Content crazy for six, seven years. I've never had my Discord raided. I mean, have I? Mods, have I? I don't know. Like, I, oh. Yes, you have, and I didn't even notice. Is it really that big of a deal? Like, am I nuts? Like, is it, it went at least four times? Like, what did they, what did they do? Out of mods, what did they do? I, I didn't even know. I didn't fucking know. You know, you know what happens when I get my Discord raids? I go like this. Oh, they're all gone. Who was in my Discord server running amok for multiple weeks and at one point impersonated me and then pretended to be upset because I didn't get into the Weathering Ways beta. He would then go on to make a tier list where he referenced that, something that he fabricated to make fun of me. He also sent a, what is it, a, a thousand page manifesto of Yin Lin or whatever character he was attracted to inside of the Discord server, which I genuinely don't think there's enough money in the world to pay for the the amount of therapy I needed from reading that. And you know, it, it doesn't just end there. You know, an another really interesting one that I'd like to point out is I never thought that there would be a community that I was a part of where saying that, hey guys, we shouldn't sexualize children in any form of media <laughs> would be a controversial <laughs> opinion to have. <laughs> oh shit, it's wild in here, huh? It's wild! I know, dude! I expressed that I'm uncomfortable with the character looking like a kid during the Jane Doe trailer. No, you need to jerk off to it now! Why are you such a prude? You need to jerk off to her now! God! 
why are you such a hypocrite? Like, no, bro. I'm good, man. I'm good. The fact that there is unironically a creator on this platform yeah. who is literally making content around the idea of fucking kids who has more subscribers than me and is often referred to as a better creator than me and no one understands why I say this guy fostering a community on Discord is a problem is quite frankly extremely embarrassing. Yeah, I, I, I wonder what the YouTuber who makes content about fucking kids has in their Discord community. Man, I I really wonder what they're possibly talking about in that Discord community. Oh, but they're just pixels. Yeah, well, I heard there's a lot of things going on where they're not just pixels, huh, guys? And I think we're all we all know what I'm talking about here, but that's okay. We can keep pretending. We can keep playing pretend. It is what it is. And what's more than that, when I talk about the topic of representation, no one gets it. No one understands what I mean. They, they think I'm woke. The funny thing is, though, I'm not really that woke. I, I genuinely, I just don't care. I have no political opinions. I go by he he on Discord as a reference to Michael Jackson. I, I, I just don't care about these sorts of things. But just because I personally have no horse in the race doesn't mean I don't find them to be interesting discussion pieces to have. And I genuinely cannot overstate the amount of respect I lost from my audience after I was painted as the bad guy for calling out somebody who said he wanted to fuck the throat of a kid. And at the <laughs> end- <laughs> Here's the thing, Zolo. Here's the thing. I'm gonna teach you a word called brigading. And what these people do is, they take to your comment section, they take to your Twitch, okay? And they will say, now everybody go say this. Now everybody go like everybody who said this. Let me tell you an own personal story of my own. So there's this Reddit called Livestream Fails, right? And all these Livestream Fails, people kind of go to formulate their opinion on streamers from this Reddit. Well, unfortunately, there's two other forums that nobody else really talks about. And in these forums, I get to go watch these. And this is how I remain sane, is that I read every forum about me. I read every single one. And do you know what these other forums do? Hey, guys, I have this screenshot. I'm going to go post it on LSF right now. Quick, everybody go upvote it. Guys, I'm going to go say this about Tectone. Quick, everybody go upvote it on this. Because the moment you can get upward traction on certain websites like Reddit where it's driven by positive karma and what people want to do is go with the common mentality, that's how they get people to work against you. Now, if I wasn't aware of all of this, it would probably drive me nuts. But at the end of the day, I know that I'm not fucking crazy. And I understand how these people get to where they want to be and the things that they want to do to certain creators. And that's why I don't worry about this shit is because I'm aware of when a comment section is brigaded. I'm aware when a Reddit post is brigaded and that's pretty much it. And when that thread got deleted, oh man, those other forums were not happy. They were not happy because then they can't push their agenda. Solo, I know in your heart of hearts, you really are probably thinking that the gacha community is paraded by pedophiles. They're not. Here's something that I'm going to give them credit. The pedophiles in the gacha community are quite strong, and they stand together, all beating their dicks together to illegal shit, right? But it's not everybody. It's just when they see that you're going against them, they weaponize very, very, very quick. Yes, the pedophiles in this community are very, very fast, and very agile because anything that goes against them, they must shut it down. They try to make you think that you're crazy because otherwise they're going to know that they're crazy. Uh, and the community is actually quite big, but they just have their little alerts. They have little discords of, and oh, now he's saying this, this guy made a video saying jerking off the kids is bad. Quick, get him. And then they all go, you know, they, they, they pause, they pause jerking off the clay just to be there. You know, that's what their t-shirt says. I was going to make a little reference to the shirt, but then I would have to say it out loud, and I'm just not going to do that.
of all of this, you know, once this discussion is said and done, I know that I'm not the only one thinking these things. Sure. Yeah, sure, I could keep going. I could talk about gotcha tribalism or just, you know, the always happening pissing contest, but it doesn't really matter. Other creators acknowledge, see, and understand these things, and some of them even contribute to it by talking about every drama as it happens when it happens, which ends up creating this aura of negativity in the community where people at the expense of others will talk about them in negative ways, which sure. is kind of ironic coming from me, I suppose. You know, a while ago. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I would say this is even something that I did, but I've tried to get a lot further away from that. I, I do think there was a wave of everybody shitting on everybody. However, I do think it would be fair to say that this community, or a big section of this community, is so bad, it's enough to drive anybody crazy. Okay, Murray? Does that make sense? Well, and I think this is an excellent example. There was that whole IO situation. And to this day, in the gotcha community, you'll now hear people tossing around the slang of negative edge. And what's really sad about that is that in a vacuum, yeah, negative edge is it's hilarious. But when you actually understood why that drama happened, it it's kind of ironic. For those who don't know, and I could be- Sure, I, I will stand by the EO drama was the funniest most lighthearted drama there was. I, once again, I think EO's great. I do think he schizoed out a little bit. If he has offense to me saying that, he's more than one to take offense to it. I think he schizoed out really hard. It wasn't really that big of a deal. It was just, I mean, come on. It, it, it really was not that big of a deal. It's saying it doesn't have a me, negative edging, making up terms to try to sound better and then those terms not being used correctly. It's just, hey man, you got shit on a little bit, but you you kind of have, you kind of deserve to get shit on when you try to put yourself that high on a pedestal. I I, I don't see anything is, I don't see an issue with that shit at all. Let me think of a time where I think there actually was an issue that was bad. Oh yeah, I think everybody. Now once again, solo yapped. Well, no, the, the solo yapping thing was also kind of lighthearted, and then solo kind of took that one pretty rough too. What's an example? Oh, probably the devs listened, Mister Pokey one. The devs listened. That one was like, Mr. Pokey did a really good job because he was getting shit on by everybody. Mr. Pokey was getting shit on by everybody for the dev listen thing. Uh, and then he just, you know, shrugged it off. And it worked really well for him. You know, so I think I think people's mental wherewithal will really come into play. And if you can shrug off the little lighthearted jabs that people take, then I think it's actually really good for you in the long run. Be wrong about this because, you know, I was just observing. Yeah, yeah, or that this changes everything with MTash. Which is weird because MTash did a really good job of shrugging off the this changes everything thing with MTash, but he had a really bad job of shrugging off the, the MTash I quit meme. It's weird, but you know, it, people's mental depend on the day, but it is what it is. Observing from a distance, but uh, leading up to that drama and all that thing happening, IO for multiple months was dealing with pretty much everything I was talking about in this video. It didn't matter what he said or what he did, there was always a vast majority of people disagreeing with everything. And to be fair, sometimes he had to take and it was really bad, but other times he had to take and it was reasonable, it made sense. And over the Okay, so the thing you gotta understand is you could build a hundred bridges, okay? And people, people can call you the bridge guy. The moment you suck one dick, you're no longer the bridge guy, you're the gay dude, okay? So when you make a take that horrendously bad, I'm not gonna lie, for a while, you're gonna be known as the shit take guy, right? You are, you, you really are. Hopefully that makes sense. Not the Lady Gaga phrase. Dick sucker. Exactly. There it is. Yeah, exactly. There it is, dude. Exactly. Copying Asmin's wisdoms. First of all, I didn't even know that was from Asmin. I just hang out with the dude so often. He says it so fucking much that it just came to my mind naturally. Guys, I do a podcast with him. Sometimes we say the same things. Just because Asmin says badass doesn't mean that he's copying me. Jesus Christ. Guys, send me a clip of Asmin saying badass the course of about two months that started to get to IO and it just so happened that that negative edge situation was the culmination of constantly being told he was wrong. So then when he was actually wrong about something he chose the wrong hill to die on and that was what everyone focused on. Not a single person who covered that drama talked about the events leading up to that or why the situation happened the way it did or why IO, the person who is pretty infamous for being chill 
Bill was suddenly so aggressive. Mr. Pokey tried to offer a neutral take, but it was so candy-coated and biased, it just pretty much lost all analytical value. Mr. Pokey is not neutral. He is one of the most toxic creators in the gotcha space. He's just as bad as me. He's not neutral. He's never been neutral. He's just as bad. He's... I think I'm a little bit better now. I think I'm actually pretty nice. But kill yourself, and there it is. Why are we pretending that Mr. Pokey's neutral? Guys, he's friends with me. That's how you know he's a bad guy. What? <laughs> What the fuck was that about? Yeah. Then, not even like two weeks before, you had Tectone getting on the ass of people he was, uh, as far as everyone else knew, very good friends with. And Wait, what did I do? That of Hex Juice and Gotcha Smack. Gotcha Smack and Tectone are very egotistical people, Absolutely. and rightfully so. So I guess neither of them were willing to yield. So what ended up happening was it took about four days in a Discord call for that to be settled. There was a Wait, what happened between me and Gotcha Smack? I can't remember. Oh, was that the thing for Zenless Zone Zero about Street Fighter VI? Oh yeah, who cares? We handled that? Well, that wasn't four days. That was one call. We once again handled that in one call. I don't know about four days. There's also Hex Juice getting into an argument with Tectone on stream, which you could very obviously tell Hex wasn't comfortable. M-Tash tries to step in and offer his wisdom. Another drama comes from that. Dust eventually settles. It is what it is. Alright, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Hex Juice gets on my stream, okay, consensually, let's just be real. I ain't your butler. If you say some dumb shit, we're gonna talk it out. If I say some dumb shit, we're gonna talk it out. I don't want to hear any of this, oh god, well I can tell she was very uncomfortable. Shut the fuck up. Shut, you know what, you know what somebody does if they're in a call online and they're uncomfortable? Press the end call button. Okay, I don't want to hear none of this, you're like, oh they were so uncomfortable. Then end the call. And leave. What was I going to do? Reach through the internet and grab her? You can leave at any time. It is what it is. I think your cat wanted to show you something. Yeah, he did. I see going. It is, and it's not even just like people arguing with each other. It's even being manufactured from random Twitter posts. Meta one day went out on Twitter. She said that she thought Firefly's character was ruined because she was dating Callus, which I'm paraphrasing, but I know why she made that post. And everyone made because she was pandering to lesbians. Make fun of her for it. No, 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 don't get me wrong, I did too, because it's Twitter drama, it's stupid, and it doesn't ultimately hurt anybody, but it's still, it's something that happened. And of course, it doesn't end there. Mr. Pokey gets into arguments with- No, let's be real. Let's be real. Mina made a post, and let's- Okay, Solo, shut the fuck up. You're being stupid here, okay? You're being bitter. You've been right for 90% of this video, and now you're getting off track here, buddy. Okay, now I'm gonna have to bend you over, and I'm gonna spank you like the little boy you are, Okay? That Mina drama is, and still is, fucking hilarious. Okay, little guy, little squirt? That shit was hilarious. Because what happened was, is that Mina, okay, Mina made a Twitter post saying, Oh my god, Firefly's character's ruined. She's been reduced to waifu bait. And then a post from two weeks ago, because in the trailer, Mina was upset because Firefly was with Kalis. Two weeks ago, she said, and I quote, finally, we're dating, we're dating Firefly. She's our waifu. This is what I want. This is what I've always wanted when she was going with a woman. She was called out for double standards. That was not manufactured. That was funny as fuck. That shit was funny as fuck. And we all know it. We all know that shit was funny. We all know it was funny. Okay? And I'm not going to make anybody, nobody's allowed to pretend that shit wasn't hilarious. Okay? She got caught. It is straight up that simple. She got caught. That shit was funny as fuck. What's Pokey's take on it? Mr. Pokey is only neutral when talking about drama involving women. Okay, now if there's drama involving me or any other man, he'll go in balls deep. But the moment it involves a female, he's like, I have no opinion. I have no take. Neutrally speaking, I'm neutral. And you know it, because I know you're here, Mr. Pokey. I know you're here. 
You know that's how that goes. Why do you think I was invited on Top Up? The episode Mina wasn't there. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm dumb? Bitch, I know why I was invited that episode. <laughs> because I was going to bring it up. <laughs> I was going to bring it up. And you know I was going to bring it up. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. We, hey, hey, hey. And here's the other thing. Not only did I know, everybody knew. Everybody knew. All right. Now, Mr. Pokey's not sexist. He's another four-letter word that starts with S. Not sexist, though. Mr. Pokey is not sexist. He's another four-letter word that starts with S. Uh, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> why didn't you bring it up then? Because I want to bring it up to Mina. That's what I want to bring it up to. All right, that's just a simple question. Why are you okay if fireflies sit with a female, but you're not okay when you sit with a man? That's all I want to ask. All right, cool, let's go. Gotcha smack, or at least they did for a while there. The list really does kind of go on all day, and to be honest, I'm actually kind of grateful that the gotcha cast ended up absolutely destroying my reputation the one time that I went on it, because now there aren't enough eyes on me why I have to play monkey in the middle every other week with whatever flavor of drama my chat wants. I don't really think, I don't really think the gotcha cast necessarily ruined his reputation. I don't know about that, right? It might have caused him a little bit of negative feedback, but it just all depends on your mindset as a content creator. For me, as long as eyes are on me, I'm pretty happy. You know, and that was pretty lighthearted. You know, at least you're just being called a guy who yaps rather than like a racist or a pedophile or a serial killer. If, if people think that you yap too much kills your stream content, that just doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't wants me to discuss. And speaking of the gotcha cast, that is probably the biggest thing I've known for, and occasionally I will get questions of people like, hey, when are you going to be on next time? Decktone said he'd have you on. Are you going on? And at this point on my Discord server, people have stopped asking, but in my YouTube comments, uh, people still do from time to time. So to address that now, there is a public mention that I would be lit back on in the VOD of the podcast that happened immediately after the one I was on. So just go one podcast day in the future on a VOD channel, you can probably find one. I was also told multiple times on multiple different stretches of time that eventually I would be allowed back on. However, I think it has been about eight and he months. It is. It is. Once since then, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now it's not happening. Uh, I was lied to, and you were all lied to. I'm not going back. And as for my standing, hey yo, Solo, if you want to do a, if you want to do a gotcha cast next week, we can do it. I'll just be real, you know, like I'm gonna just pull this up. You, you want to know why you haven't been on a gotcha cast? Hold up. Let's just pull it up. Because we, like, don't do them anymore. You know what I'm saying? And now the majority of gotcha casts that we do lately have been ones in person. Like, for example, the next gotcha cast that I'm going to do is going to be myself, Mr. Pokey, Box, and Braxophone IRL gotcha cast. We just don't do them that much. Once again, I have nothing against Solo at all. I mean, I think he's a little bit sensitive, and I think he gets a little bit bitter too quick. I think a lot of the times are justified, but no, I would love to talk to Solo. Absolutely. Now, am I horrified? Well, yeah, I am a little bit horrified of that, and just for the reason where if anything goes wrong and any creator gets any negative feedback, well, I have to deal with people bitching and moaning about it. Now, I'm cool with doing more gotcha cast, but there's going to be a new rule where if they do some dumb shit and people make fun of them for it, they have to understand that's their own damn fault and to not bitch and moan at me for it, okay? Because just because somebody else comes onto my stream and makes themselves look like a retard doesn't mean that I have to feel bad for them and doesn't mean that I have to fix it. Can we all agree with that? Because that's the reason why I don't do content with people is that people come on my channel, they come on my videos, they come on my streams, they do some retarded ass shit, and then they say, Tectone's a bad guy for letting it happen. Well, that, sorry, buddy. That's not my responsibility. It's just really not. Now, I can say, hey, guys, take it easy on them. But if they don't, that's all I can do. So don't come on my channel. Don't come and try to do shit with me and then get upset when you do dumb shit and then you blame me. Am I being unfair? A am, I, am I being unfair? And, and I think, and I think I'm being pretty fair with that. Because let's, let's say, for example, you know, like, let's talk about the whole... The whole, let's talk about hex juice. Love hex juice. But I did say, let's take emotions out of this. You're getting a little bit emotional. Okay? I literally made an attempt to defuse that situation because I didn't want my friend to cause any issues for me or themselves. And the internet took that comment as blind sexism. So at this point, like for example, 
if Solo was talking a lot and I told him to shut up, he's talking too much, then rather than people thinking, oh, he's looking out for his friend, they're going to say, man, I can't believe he just fucking picked on a neurodivergent. It, it's, a, it's a lose if you do, it's a lose if you don't. It's just a lose-lose situation. So it's, it's, it's everyone's responsibility to take care of themselves. You forgot you're the godfather of gotcha. Everything needs to be ran past by you. Absolutely. Thank you, Shinya. Shinya, one of you who actually is actually aware of how dumb some of this shit is. Out of curiosity, I want to get a W or L check here. Everybody understanding what I'm saying? Anybody thinking what I'm saying is unfair? Or we all we all agree that things are fine? We, we all good here? Okay. Just want to make sure. Maybe other people will think differently, and that's fine. But I think it's people's responsibility to take care of their own image, not me. Right? So, like, once again, you got to understand. For the gotcha cast... I don't invite people. They usually invite themselves. And then they'll say, yeah, sure, you can come. So when people do come to my channel, there's never been a situation in my entire channel's history where I've ever forced someone on my channel. They have either asked me or I have said, would you like to do this if it's okay if no? And they say, sure, I would love to. So once you've agreed to step into the arena, if you take a couple scratches, it's really not my responsibility. It's truly not. On every other creator, it's mostly just neutral, neutral, neutral across the board, except maybe Hex Juice, but... Oh, lol, yeah, lol, yeah, that's true. I'm coming to the IRL Gacha Cast with Box, Pokey, and Brax. I'll see you there. Yeah, should you? absolutely. If you want to come, you're more than welcome to come. I would love that. That would be awesome. I got some personal reasons for that one. Actually, Shinya, you know what I think we should do? I think we should make the Gacha Cast a me and you thing. And you be there every episode, no matter what. I think I would enjoy that a lot more. So if you if you would be down for that, because I can talk to you for hours about anything, shit. I can talk to you for hours. So if you, I'm down. Yeah, that sounds way more fun. I wanted it to be me and Gotcha Smack forever ago, but he's he's a busy guy. I think me and Shinny together would be really fucking good. I think I think that would be great. Invite Genesad too. He'll be in TwitchCon too. Uh, I don't really know him that well. In the last few months, I've had to mature a lot because of all the crap I've had to deal with. It's warped, I think, permanently my sort of outlook on communities like this. And, and everything that I've mentioned in this video is kind of this like little sampler of what I'm talking about. But the reason I even mention it at all is because the gacha community at large is, is just toxic across the board. It sure. doesn't matter if we're talking about the way other creators interact with each other or the actual community itself. It's just not a very good place. Even if you want to argue that the games themselves are all right to the people who play them nine times out of ten just don't really seem to be worth engaging with and you know i could be wrong right you know i don't personally know a lot of these people but i'm just sure. going off of what i see as somebody who has been forced for a while now to kind of watch from the distance and what i see isn't really something that i want to be involved with that's about it though i, I think that's i think that's great um i think this video i think this video was really 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 good obviously there were th some things that i disagreed with but um yeah i think it brought up a lot of good discussions that made me realize why i'm also very bitter and that's because people expect me to like be a daddy of this community and to take care of all the issues and if i don't i'm a bad guy it's definitely very irritating i think there's also a lot of irresponsibility for whose issue something is versus whose issue something isn't and i'm of the opinion if you dig yourself a hole and you get in it it's your responsibility to dig yourself out of that hole. It's nobody else's responsibility. Uh, and that's my opinion. I want to make it very clear. I did think that was a great, great video. I think there was some skewed perspectives. Nobody can be 100% right all the time. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of issues. But there's also a lot of good things in this community. Um, we just haven't seen them in a long time. <laughs> uh, but good video, Solo. Uh, guys, mods, link that video. Go give them a like and a subscribe. And I'll see y'all boys in the next one.